There are many benefits to fearing God because God rewards those who are well-pleasing to Him. In fact, the Bible records numerous promises specifically for those who fear Him. A good verse in Proverbs, which sums up the range of benefits that comes from fearing the Lord, says, The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. These riches, honor, and life can refer to both physical and spiritual things. They can also pertain to this life or the life to come. Regardless of how God manifests His promises, one thing is sure. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both the small and the great. Scripture tells us that a person who fears God will have wealth and riches in his house. While this can refer to material wealth, it is not only limited to money and possessions. Having riches can refer to having abundance. In addition, the Hebrew word for wealth has the meaning of having enough or what is sufficient. Therefore, wealth and riches can certainly come in many different forms. But riches of the greatest value are those which are accompanied by the blessing of the Lord. Wealth that comes from God is enduring and can never be destroyed. Some examples of being spiritually rich include having upright descendants who are also blessed, and having righteousness that endures forever and can deliver one from death. The Bible compares many things in life to vapor or a breath, meaning that they are vain or pass away very quickly. Some of these examples include idols, money, beauty, and the brevity of human life. In contrast, there are very few things that endure long enough to be worthy of honor and praise. Yet scripture distinctively tells us that fearing the Lord is one of these things. As it says in the concluding verses of the book of Proverbs, charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. While this passage is known for describing the virtuous wife, it can also be applied to anyone who fears God. Unlike things which pass away with time, the qualities of those who fear God are enduring and of great value. When the verse says to give her the fruit of her hands, it means that she is able to enjoy what she has done or worked for. So this means that those who fear God are able to reap the reward of having honor and praise before God and men. Moreover, they do not need to seek their own glory because their own works commend them. Proverbs 10 verse 27 also says that the fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. The word prolong in this verse means to add, increase, or multiply. But this verse is not necessarily about how long a person will live, but how God distinguishes the wicked from those who walk in the fear of Him. The point is that fearing God does not make us lose anything, but actually leaves us with so much more to gain. When we fear Him by increasing in our wisdom and knowledge of Him, He promises to multiply our days and add to our life, be it in terms of actual years, value, or quality. Furthermore, the result of fearing the Lord and turning from evil is that it will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. The word flesh in this verse refers to our physical bodies, but bones can refer to our inner being. This means that the fear of God accompanied with the action of turning from evil can not only bring health to our physical bodies, but can also revive our souls. The book of Proverbs also mentions that the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to turn one away from the snares of death. Therefore, we need to continually drink from it in order to preserve our spiritual lives. Indeed, to live an increasingly abundant spiritual life and to receive healing from within are far more important than any sort of physical blessing we can receive.